Hello there and thank you for watching. In this video, we're going to continue with our F5 ASM web application firewall policy tuning. And we're using DVWA or DAM vulnerable web application for that. In previous video, we talked about how we can really do the policy tuning and make making sure um, there is no false positive. So we did some false positive analysis and uh, made sure that there, when we actually move our policy to blocking, uh, the application is operating as it should. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit more about F5 policy and how we can tune it and basically uh, use it more effectively for uh, violations and stuff. So I'm just going to head over to my F5. As you can see, we already created this policy, the VWA policy, and uh, it is already in blocking mode. And we have our DVWA here and uh, basically all the tabs are operational and they're working properly. There is no problem there, right? So this is what we did last time to make sure that the application is operating properly. That's the first step, right? So now we're going to basically take this further. If you uh, remember, we talked about this policy. I'm just going to click. We talked about there are seven days of uh, enforcement uh, readiness period for our signatures to be effective and, and to be enforced, right? So keep that in mind. I'll get back to that. Um, if we go to DVWA, I'm just going to do a quick test. So you can see command execution test. I'm just going to ping one of the IP addresses on my network here. So this is just a simple ping on the web interface. You can see there are some results being returned uh, to my DVWA here. And uh, uh, simply what we can do, if you are familiar with the shell scripting and, and uh, Linux commands, you know with the semicolon, basically, you can just uh, add the second command to uh, your, uh, your shell uh, or bash. Um, so, the ping script is actually the first one. So you can type an IP address here if you want, or uh, you don't have to, if you don't want to, you could just go semicolon because it would ignore the first part. And then obviously we want to show the ETC password uh, file in Linux. And if I click submit, you see the ETC password file is actually being presented here, right? So so that's, that's called command execution attack. That's a pretty common the attack on the, uh, web application uh, that uh, has not been really uh, developed properly. Uh, it's just a test on DVWA. So I'm going to show you how we actually prevent this attack from happening, right? So I'm just going to go back to my F5. So with the enforcement readiness, we go to the policy, uh, sorry, policy building. And if you remember, we talked about traffic learning. So we basically have some traffic learning when, when uh, F5 has suggestions, but we also have the second tab, which is enforcement readiness. So you see that there are a lot of uh, signatures and, and uh, basically um, uh, entity types here that they, are, they haven't been enforced. And that is because it hasn't been really seven days since we started uh, using this. So once the seven days is passed, all of this stuff would be really moved to the to the suggestion area and ready to be enforced so we could really enforce them, right? So by default, everything will be here. So you will see nothing in have suggestions or ready to be enforced, right? So there is, you see there is a uh, there are three signatures that have been matched here. And that is because of the test that I just did. So if I click on that, you see F5 already found that uh, there are uh, there is an attack here and some signatures have been matched, right? So this is basically simply uh, matching F5 signatures and uh, let's see how we can really block that, okay? So this is within the first seven days. So I select these ones and I click enforce. Confirm it. I apply the policy. So now I go back to my DVWA. I try my ping first to make sure application is working fine. So you see it's working fine. Now I'm trying the second one. And as soon as you click, you see the re request being blocked uh, by F5 and uh, basically is generating the support ID. 
uh, for the support if uh, we want to understand what is happening. And uh, that is how basically a signature matching works. So if the signatures have been enforced, uh, we basically can block uh, um, any attack on our uh, application using F5 web application firewall. And uh, uh, we can simply go and uh, look at our uh, um, event logs and basically we should be able to see that uh, there are some blockings in there that has been done right and if you go to overview tab obviously there are some additional information in the overview tab so this is a, a simple process as I said this enforcement readiness is very important because this would uh, obviously take uh, you see that those that three number three is gone because it's been enforced now but eventually after seven days all these not enforced uh, ones will be enforced as well and uh, uh, all, all attacks will be protected the reason that uh, it's not done yet uh, just to make sure that there is really no false positives to application so f5 would continue listening to the traffic trying to understand the traffic and and uh, if it sees a lot of really um, traffic on one particular violation, it could uh, look uh, legitimate and F5 would suggest obviously to disable those signature and stuff like that. And basically, uh, this is how you do the uh, uh, false positive analysis. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.